Welcome back. Believe it or not, and I choose not, <laughs> as I just don't believe that I spring. To. <laughs> yes, spring is just around the corner. Soon, our flower beds and gardens will be sprouting with those gorgeous tulips. And today, Absolutely. flower expert Jay Schwanke from YouBloom.com is here to give us some tips, tricks, and hints for bringing a little joy inside our homes with tulips. Exactly. It's coming. You optimist. I know. Because <laughs> the flowers are all those tulip bulbs are under that snow. Uh, yeah, they and do exist down they're there. They're going to come. They're going to come. Okay. So, and tulip bulbs. So I wanted to show you oh, these first because this is an arrangement where the tulips are actually on the bulb. And it's been real popular now for people to be able to buy tulips on the bulb. Very neat. So you can enjoy them. Don't You don't need to put them in a vase because all the moisture is inside there. Now, here's my question. Uh -huh. When my arrangement flakes out, can I use those bulbs? That's yes. the best part. Okay. Then you plant them in the yard, and you're going to have tulips that are going to come up. Oh, I've that's got a wonderful. whole row of tulips from Tulips on the Bulb. Oh, Love very them. good. And okay. Hyacinths, too. So that little arrangement, we just layered the two bunches in there and put some flowers on top. So I thought it would be fun for you to make tulips in a cube. So okay. you're just going to use the shortcut that yes. we talked about. Yes. And you're going to cut off your tulip. Yep. Look at how good you are. So and I you're do well. Drop it into the vase. Okay. Now, he has me cutting just inside the lower leaf, you guys. That's a shortcut. So that's the shortcut. Yes. Okay. Now so. you can also use a flower frog. I'm using a little flower frog here to show you a fun little way that we can create an arrangement that might be a little alternative. Because then we can take this and drop it down inside our frog vase. And, all. and look at. The vase holds that's up our little beautiful. arrangement. Yeah, that's really nice. Now, the other thing that's really fun about this, too, is this could go down inside a big vase. So Dramatic, don't get Jay. intimidated by a big vase. You can then use these guys to have a little, you know, tulip scape down inside your vase. It's like a little vase. terrarium. I know. Terrariums are so popular. Yeah, they really are. Exactly. So then I have another one, too. And don't be afraid of foam. I love foam for my tulips, too. Yeah. I mean, you know, because tulips are going to grow. And one of the things that we love about them is they're going to grow towards the light. And so I'm not always super careful when I'm arranging my tulips. Yes. Because they're going to arrange themselves. I was going to say, they the have a mind of their own. They're the, I, I call them the teenagers. <laughs> That's good. Uh, so, oh yeah, yeah, because, you know, they have a mind of their own. So a few tulips in the top of this orange container, I could put a few pebbles up here, and that would be a wonderful, complete arrangement. Yeah. Or I can add a couple other little flowers to it. I'm going to add a leucodendron, and I'm going to add a couple of the protea. I know you love the protea. Uh, but proteas are among my favorites since you pin are the one cushion. who introduced me to them. Yeah. And so I'm going to add a couple little pin cushions in there with that. And... A little piece of fern. I love a piece of fern because then mm. I've got a cute little arrangement just like... I cannot believe you made that in like 15 seconds. Well, you know... That's what you do. It's pra I can't believe that you can talk to somebody in five minutes on this show. <laughs> that right. And get a whole story <laughs> And out. get the whole story out of them. You are so good at that. Well, I'm going to stick to my talking to people thing, because looky what I've done here, Jay. I, but listen to what oh, I tried to do. It's so pretty. I tried to create a grid underneath in which to stand up my flowers, because you taught me that. Exactly. And you did well. Okay, what I would do is, see, yeah, you talked about standing up. Yes. You're uh, doing so good with your little grid. You did. Good. It's You know what? It's just a little bit of fussing and, you know. Yeah. It's like dinking around with it. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. See, you've improved it. Immensely. Oh, I like it matches your house. flower cube, yeah. I know. And and those tulips are going to get longer. They're going to open up. They're going to get bigger, and you're going to enjoy them. All right. Jay has written the book on having fun with flowers. It is his new book. It is called Fun with Flowers, and it is the wonderful story of Jay's legacy, family legacy of making people, allowing them to express how they're feeling with flowers. Absolutely. And you can find it at Schuler Books and Music right here in West Michigan. So check it out, Jay. Thank you. Thank you. And you can find more information about Jay on our website. Go to WZZM13.com under Take 5. We'll be back.